Hi and welcome to this second introductory video on navigating the rangeland analysis platform. In this video, we're going to explore the map layers panel, which is your dashboard for controlling the data that display in the rangeland analysis platform. So let's go. Once the app opens up, the map layers panel is going to open up in the top left corner of your page. There, you'll see two primary data sets, the vegetation cover data set and the herbaceous biomass data set, which you can control with the switches to the left of them. For each data set, there's a drop down with different plant functional groups. For vegetation cover, there's perennial herbaceous, annual herbaceous, shrub, tree, and bare ground. For biomass, there's herbaceous, annual forb and grass, and perennial forb and grass. To explore some of the features available in the map layers panel in some more detail, let's zoom in on a specific location, Winnemucca, Nevada. This is an area that has seen rapid increases in annual uh, herbaceous uh, vegetation, specifically cheatgrass. If we look at the annual forb and grass cover data set for 2019, we can see elevated values of annual herbaceous cover for that year. We can do a couple things also to help our mapping. First, I'm going to turn on the satellite data. And second, I'm going to increase the transparency of the data so we can see the underlying satellite data in some more detail. Then, we're going to compare 2019 data to 1990 data. And we see that there's much diminished uh, annual herbaceous cover in, in 1990. There are a couple of other features that I'd like to show you. The first is the option to exclude croplands, development, and water. By default, this is turned on, and that's because our models were not developed for those land cover types. The second option is to display fire boundaries, and when I do that, you can see a fire boundary pop up in the bot, uh, southwest of Winnemucca. We'll explore this more in a future tutorial. We've included some supplementary data sets that are common in Great Plains and sagebrush conservation in the West. These data sets often come from other sources outside of RAP, though some are also derived from RAP datasets. We encourage you to explore these in some more detail and to use them to help to improve your understanding of the context in which RAP data fits into your areas. The absolute best thing that you can do while getting familiar with RAP data is to get into RAP and explore it for yourself. Be sure and check out the tutorial underneath this video for some instructions and some help as you begin to explore RAP data. We have two case studies. The first is looking at tree cover in the Los Canyons region of Nebraska, an area that has seen rampant tree expansion of eastern red cedar in the past 30 years. In the second case study, we go to the northern Great Basin and we look at annual herbaceous biomass production and its relation to fire in one fire that burned in 2016. We can see that in the year prior to fire, there was much elevated uh, annual herbaceous cover, which may have been an important fuel in this area. Be sure and check it out. That's it for this video on the Map Layers panel, and be sure and join us for the next video where we'll learn how to analyze our region of interest in RAP. See you there.